hello everyone welcome back to my garden Yaji here and in today's video i'd like to share with you four different types of amaranth that i have growing in my garden all right guys i want you to appreciate that i have the amaranth growing in my cinder block holes right here right there right there all of my beds are bordered with the amaranth the different types of amaranth i find that the holes make like the perfect perfect containers for growing the amaranth this is a shoko it's sometimes called the lagos spinach or the nigerian spinach this vegetable is super popular among africans in the diaspora shoko is the yoruba name for this celosia it is a celosia and a member of the amaranth family it can be found in parts of nigeria in cameroon and it can also be found in indonesia and india the leaves can be all green or they can be more colorful it is believed to be native to africa and super easy to grow it thrives in the heat attracts very few pests and disease easy to manage unlike other common greens when you sow the seeds you can expect it to germinate in about 8 to 14 days and then very fast growth after that the days to maturity only 30 to 60 days so it is a quick growing crop let's see this other type of amaranth that i have here this variety is known as tete pupa in yoruba or the red kalalu another name for it is the red leaf amaranth when they were younger they had burgundy red veins but as they've grown bigger those have disappeared the red kalalu is also a very quick growing crop but unlike the f4 shoko this one tends to attract pests it attracts um, snails and slugs they want to eat the leaves of this one just something to keep in mind so guys this is another kind of amaranth this one is known as the chicago kalalu this is the chicago kalalu it has this reddish color just so absolutely pretty that's the Chicago Kalalu. Look at the leaves. This Chicago Kalalu is so pretty, guys. It is similar to the Tete Pupa, the other one that I just showed you, except that this one has more color. This Chicago Kalalu has more color. And if you look under the leaf, it has this reddish, I don't know what color that is, magenta color, which is absolutely pretty compared to that um, Tete the tete pupa spinach i have just one row of the chicago kalalu going on and as with the other amaranth it's quick growing and this one also attracts um, bugs it attracts caterpillars and if you're from cameroon you will recognize this other type of amaranth this is the one that we know in cameroon cameroon green growing here look at the two side by side this one is all green this one has that burgundy color but very similar so this is cameroon green i need to harvest it it's very susceptible to um to this is i don't know uh, slugs or snails okay and then i'm gonna show you the chicago kalalu which i have growing over here over okay. here is the Jamaican Kalalu, the Jamaican Kalalu, which is also another type of amaranth. But notice how this one is different. It doesn't grow as tall as the other ones. Well, maybe not yet, but I planted all of these on the same day. This one is already wanting to produce flowers and seeds. Those ones have not yet produced any flowers and seeds, but yeah guys these are my amaranths i have five different types so this is the jamaican kalalu over here is the cameroon amaranth the cameroon greens and then over here is the chicago kalalu over here and here is the four 
pupa and then over here is the fo pete so guys those are five different amaranths that you can try our african spinach they are so delicious when cooked some of them can be eaten raw when they are tender in salads they are all beautiful and they will nourish your body if you would like to try out the seeds check the description box for links to where you can get the seeds when you use my link to buy the seeds you support me you support the company making the seeds available and then you also support the small scale farm growing the seeds and making the seeds available to us all of these people are people just like me trying to preserve culturally meaningful seeds and making them available to africans in the diaspora and to the world in general so thank you for your love and for your support please if this video added value to you give it a thumbs up before you leave and most importantly do grow something do grow a garden because when you grow a garden you grow health until next time everybody happy gardening bye